showtime! The Capital G Show starts right now. What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Doing what I absolutely know is every one of my subscribers' favorite segment on this channel where Capital G is wrong. And again, I know deep down you guys love this segment. It doesn't make you a bad subscriber, but you guys love when I am wrong. And it's fine, whatever. I own up to it. It's no big thing. Everybody knows that I make my bold predictions for each YCS. And then, of course, when I'm wrong, I come out and say I'm wrong. So let's go ahead and get it started. Where Capital G was wrong. I said that Evil Swarm would win YCS Toronto, and man, the deck did not do me any favors. I'm still kind of honestly confused about this one. I thought that Mermill, Prophecy, and Dragons would all see a good amount of play at this event, and they all did. And since Ophion severely hinders those decks, it's kind of elementary that the deck would fare well. But I mean, two spots in top 32? Eh, I can't really look at that any other way but a disappointment. I mean, sure, we all know that Evil Swarms get shit on by Blackwing because, let's be real, Kalut gives no fucks about Ophion and he's searchable. But on the other side of the spectrum, I mean, Dragoonity saw a ton of play at the event and that should be pretty much a damn near auto win matchup. So I'm not ready to give up on the deck, but right now it's kind of looking far from impressive. Where Capital G was wrong. I thought that Gadgets would have a pretty good showing at YCS Toronto, but man, I'm not even sure that they were even at the event. I mean, basically any deck that you can think of off the top of your head pretty much outshine the deck. The format is vastly slower than the last. The deck really isn't hurt by Max C. Breakthrough skill is non-existent, and the deck had pretty good showings last format. I mean, it was a pretty solid deck last format, so every single one of those things led me to believe that Gadgets would do well going into the first event of a format, but, I mean, hell, they got beat out by Herald of Perfection and Madoche? How the hell did that happen? Where Capital G was right. I said that I thought that Phoenix Chain would be the new it card when it came to traps, and uh, that top four Blackwing player sure made me look smart. I mean, that dude was beasting with that fucking card all day something fierce. I mean, this seems to be a format where trigger effects are needed to get a lot of decks rolling. You look at Little Blue Boy and Prophecy, Dragoonity Ducks and Dragoonity, or Sanju and Herald of Perfection, and it's like... Phoenix Chain is pretty much the all-in-one answer to all those cards and more. You know, not to mention, uh, Zephyros the Elite is kind of like currently the shit in Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. And since Dragoonities and Blackwings both run the card, they now have more opportunities to get two chains out of one. So, I think that this card is going to be one of the most played traps in the format, especially for slower paced decks. Where Capital G was wrong. Who would have actually guessed that Dragoonities would have been a legit deck this format? And I know a lot of you guys out there are saying, we did, motherfucker. How come you never listen to us? Man, you guys say Dragoonities are going to be good every format. I swear. Anyways, as I said earlier, I kind of felt like Dragoonity keeps getting more indirect support than any competitive deck in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean... First, you got Zephyros the Elite. That was supposed to be a Blackwing card, and yet it helped your deck. Then you got King Dragon a Tomb. That was supposed to be a Heretic card, and yet it helps your deck. Now you have Tempest, and I mean, I don't know what the fuck Dragon Rules are made for, but that helps your deck too immensely. So I kind of felt like it was just a matter of time until all the OP decks got nerfed enough for your deck to really just shine. And because Dragons are kind of in check and Heavy Storm is banned, Protective Stardust works really, really, really well right now. In fact, it works better now than it has in a really long time. Now there still are some questions about the deck. My biggest concern being that the deck doesn't really have a great answer to max c but i feel like from the offensive standpoint it's pretty much at the top of the totem pole right now like i feel like the deck can go punch for punch with dragons so you know i feel like uh i feel like dragoonity has a very bright future uh in this format and that's something that i haven't really said in a very long time where capital g was right well, there was a reason that I couldn't believe my eyes when i saw it i really didn't think that kunami would do something this bold and with Black Wings taking a uh, top four finish at the first YCS coming straight out the gate, I felt vindicated. Black Whirlwinds Unlimited? Oh my, f what? F Black Whirlwinds Unlimited? Oh, snap. That is so legit. I mean, I pretty much said it outside of the band cards. Black Whirlwind moving from 1 to 3 was the single biggest thing on the entire ban list, and it catapulted the deck to tier 1 contending 
pretty much overnight. You know, the fact of the matter is, with Whirlwind currently at three, combined with all the draw support that the deck has in way of Pop Duality, Allure of Darkness, cards for Black Feathers, it basically guarantees that you'll see a Whirlwind by turn two almost every single game. And much like when the card was at three in previous formats, this also means that if you open with two Whirlwinds, you're going to win the game like 90% of the time, no lie. You know, Whirlwind does more for this deck than pretty much any one card does for any high tier deck out there. It gives you offense, it gives you defense, it gives you battle phase lockdown, it gives you OTK ability, but it does it in so many different ways. Hell, it even gives you ways to abuse Zephyros the Elite. I mean, like I said, Whirlwind is too strong. So, let me know what you guys thought of this video. Uh, if there was anything you thought like I missed, go ahead and leave that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching as always, and take care. Subscribing makes life happy.